How's it going, folks? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech, but today we're taking a look at a ThinkPad E15. Man, these things are getting hard to get in now that we're in the middle of the situation that we're in. Uh, the Corona Cyrus, uh, let's just call it. Anyways, I got this laptop, and it looks like I got a scratch on it already, which is interesting, because I don't think I've been too far with it. Huh. Oh, well. Anyways, just add some charm. So, first off, oh, we got the light right there. I really like it when it does that. Kind of comes on and off saying that it's sleeping. Ooh, it's thinking. Anyways, this, uh, the top feels like hard aluminum. Might be plastic. I've seen spun metal look like plastic. Let's get into the basics here. Keyboard flex. We definitely get some keyboard flex when you push down on it. Um, we have a cool feeling. I bet this is plastic, but it feels like spun metal. It feels like a little bit of aluminum. Got a nice big mouse pad. Of course, we got the uh, old school IBM red mouse over here. Interesting enough, we have a power button that, and uh, if you listen to the sticker, it looks like the power button is also a fingerprint reader. Yes. Interesting, interesting. So, nice big screen. I think it's just a 15 inch, but still, not too bad. How's it going, Colonel? Heads up. Good stuff. Good stuff. Anyways, closing her up. Let's take a look at what she's got on the side. We got a Cat5 connector. Cat5. You know what I mean. RJ45 or whatever. Um, yeah, LAN. And uh, USB. Place where you can lock your junk. We don't got a whole lot on the back. Not a whole lot going on here. And then we got the bottom. We don't got any easy access or anything. We have to take out the screws. But these things are relatively easy to get into. Later on, we'll get into what it actually looks like on the inside. And on the other side, we have a single headset uh, port. We got HDMI, two USBs, and the USB-C charger. Do we not have... Huh, there's no memory card reader in here. I guess if you just got a business system, you don't really need a memory card, right? Anywho, so that, that's just basically the aesthetics of the unit. It's not too bad. It definitely feels professional. I believe this unit is made for small businesses, not much unlike uh, what Colonel Sanders originally had. So let's get into it and let's see how she actually performs. Actually, before I get into that, I gotta say the weight is really good. I'm thinking this thing's definitely under two pounds. If you guys ever had a five pound laptop, which back in the day in the, in the 2000s, a five pound laptop was pretty standard. Man, those things feel like they gain more weight every freaking step you take. So, uh, yeah, yeah, let's get into the specs. Okay, so we're not really blowing anyone away here, but this will definitely get you through with what you want. We got eight cores. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight at 1.6 gigahertz, an i5 10210U CPU, and unfortunately, all we have is uh, an Intel ultra high definition graphics. You're not gonna be uh, you're not gonna be playing a lot of awesome stuff with that. I'm sure it'll take Fortnite though, and uh, eight gigabytes RAM, which is pretty much standard. This will get you through generally what you need to. If you want to play, if you want to play. Jeez, what is a Fortnite? I'm sure it'll play Fortnite. We're gonna test some games on it later. Also, I really should mention is a 250 gig, well, 237 gigabyte hard drive. You're not gonna be installing a lot of games with that, but if you get a secondary hard drive, you'll be able to. No CD drive here. There's no way to install a secondary hard drive, so uh, you might want to make it external. Then again, th USB 3.0 makes external hard drives a very desirable thing. Another thing that I want to mention, up on the camera, you get the camera slide so that you get your privacy to make sure the NSA isn't looking in on you. Do you remember back in the day, about 10 years ago, if you would have told somebody that you did that because you were worried about hackers or the government looking in on you, they'd be like, ha, 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 you're crazy. And now it's just the kind of stuff that we deal with. Man, I remember reading the book World War Z. World War Z, you know the movie, it's zombies everywhere. And one of the things that really struck me is at the end of it, all the all of the kids, the next generation of kids, just knew that there were zombies around and they were okay with it. They didn't blow their their heads off they weren't upset with it but they knew things like if they went into a giant pond uh, there was a possibility that there would be a zombie or a Z in there and uh, yeah the new generation we're just okay with it we understand we open and close these things because we don't trust people there's some situations happening where schools have given out laptops and the laptops has been recording the kids that were in their own homes in their own room to see what they're doing one kid got brought into the office because uh, they caught him eating pills a lot of pills. It turns out there were Mike and Ikes. Mike and Ikes do look a lot like pills, but really, how freaking creepy is it that you're watching a kid at home? That's just something else, ladies and gentlemen. Anyways, anyways, 
Anyways, yeah, so these, these days we're just used to that kind of thing. It happens. It happens all the time. And, uh, oh, got a new Wi-Fi named Nacho there. I'm going to have to uh, search that out and see who's rocking that. Got to say, I like the screen brightness. I like the texture of the screen, and it looks like it's really good with light. Let me put this lamp on it and see. Yeah, I got some glare, but not as bad as I've seen in the past with some other ones. So that'll give you an idea how well you could do with it outside. But seriously, laptops are not meant to be used outside. Like, maybe you can use them in a cafe or something, but at 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock p.m., you just you don't want to have one of these things outside. So next up, let's run a benchmark, shall we? All right, so we're running Passmark Benchmark 10. That's what I prefer to use, what the kernel likes, and uh, nobody wants to mess with the kernel. Uh, no one wants to put him in a bad mood. Anyways, uh, let's run this benchmark, and I'm going to cut to the video. I want to see how well it does. Of course, this has a, uh, a Intel UHD, so I'm not expecting much for it, but let's see where it lies in the list. Now, one of the reasons I don't record this directly from the unit is because if I do that, it's going to take system memory. It's going to take... Uh, it's, it's gonna it's gonna take memory it's gonna take all that fun stuff and it's gonna hurt the bottom number on here so I just do it the cheap way and I just record as it goes it's always good to put a few spiritual advisors here and there just to, just just for luck maybe it'll make it go faster you never know seriously though one time I was playing in a magic the gathering tournament and this guy put a cow right next to his deck and I'm like what's that he's like it's my <clears throat> it's my spiritual advisor <laughs> okay I mean I don't need no spiritual advisor when I got Colonel Sanders over here, right? Man, if I had a bike like that, my wife would love me. Okay, so here we're getting into the first Direct X. We are going at 19 frames per second. Not bad, those planes be flying nicely. I believe this is Direct X 9. Alright, now they'd be slowing down a little bit. I can't believe that we can thank the Lion King for the fact that we have Direct X. What the frick is going on there? Maybe it's one of those things that the Lion King was never around. Somebody else would have made it, but I digress. Up here, we've got the next Direct X. Uh, 6.5 frames per set. That's not good. 5.8. Jeez, that's not good. But at least we're getting it in 1080, which ain't so bad. Next up, we get some Direct X 11. 21 frames per second. Beautiful rock. Beautiful. You know what? Let me turn the light off. It might make this look a little nicer. I don't think that actually helped at all. Yeah, space jellyfish look okay. Oh, I don't like the 17 frames per second. That could be worse. Next up, DirectX 12. Not so bad. Oh, I'm finally getting penalized because I can't reach... Uh... Jeez, what is that? 2K? 2160. 10 frames per second. Still, it doesn't look that horrible. Okay, this one's definitely new. And body gravity. Whoa, this is a gravity tester. Nice, nice. Alright, I was definitely expecting something with a little more muscle. This is about, let's see, 2100. This is about the same as a Surface Pro, an old Surface Pro. Uh, a Lenovo i7 with an 8GB eight uh, of RAM and an SSD. This is slower than a T480 with uh, a hard disk drive. And this is just faster than a Lenovo M71Q, faster than a Yoga, uh, Lenovo Yoga X1 4th generation, faster than a Lenovo Carbon 5th generation, or sorry, 2nd generation. And a Lenovo Carbon 5th generation is 2400 so this thing it could uh, definitely use some more graphics, it could definitely use a little more power, but still, it's not as bad as it could be. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get on the inside and see what this thing uh, has in it. How'd these things get here? Actually, you, you can say Deadpool, you're pretty cool. Okay, now let's get inside of it. In order to do that, we got eight screws we got to take apart. Odds are these screws are not going to come all the way out, they're just going to kind of hang there. And then you're going to want to get a credit card or a guitar pick in order to pry this thing open. This will definitely have a lot of clips on it. 
breaking clips. And you got to be careful because you can break these clips. When you break them, they'll never quite get back together. There's been a few times where I've taken them off and just the clip just wasn't what it was before. So remember, folks, be careful, all right? Once upon a time, I had a big case full of guitar picks. And then I had a daughter. And then I couldn't find anything ever again. I'm sure if you guys have kids, you know what I'm saying. Sometimes, sometimes I'll just sacrifice things to the kid. I'll, I'll be like, yeah, yeah, you go play with that. You just leave me alone to play this video game for 10 minutes, okay? Just 10 minutes. Yeah, the pick wasn't enough. I had to use a credit card. I still got some change on here if you guys want. Anyways, go nuts. So what do we got in here? We got a nice big battery. Lithium ion. Looks like we got a solid state hard drive in here. 3.4 inch. Just enough to please the ladies. That's what my wife tells me anyways. So, it looks like we have the CPU here, the heat pipe coming over here. Man, this thing mustn't put off a lot of heat, because we only got one heat pipe. I'm not even seeing the GPU on this, man. I'm wondering if you can get, like, advanced GPUs and they put them right there. That looks like why they might put this here. Here, let me get you a better angle on here. This must be driving some of these nuts. There. Really lightweight. Really light stuff. Not bad. Oh, oh, wait, what's this? Is that NVMe IC? Yes, it is, and it's got a heat plate on it. So this must just be nothing. It must just be like a space holder. So we can put more uh, memory in here. Hallelujah, ladies and gentlemen, there is a Jeebus. Wow, that's interesting. Just uh, an empty space holder. Okay, okay, well, I guess either way I'll be able to install GTA on this one uh, one way or the other, right? All right, 500 gigger. I can't get over how mildly interesting this is. Check that out. It actually has the weight of an SSD, but it doesn't have the uh, pins. So, let's get this thing together, let's throw some games on it, and see how she goes. So, as you can see, it doesn't really handle Grand Theft Auto very well. Look at the cute little screen. Look how cute. Look how cute. Let's see how well it responds now. All right, up, oh, down. Hey, I've had worse. I've had, I've definitely had worse. All right, now get in there, you all bad guys. Or wait, I'm the bad guy. Are we the baddies? Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Never from Nev's Tech Bits. Like and subscribe if you like. Always appreciate it. And as usual, take care of each other, folks.